Have you ever read an exciting book about the end of the universe or seen a video with fascinating pictures? It's pretty exciting, isn't it? We don't know if it's possible for us to travel between universes, but we do know that some galaxies that were once part of our universe are now traveling to other universes. The diameter of the observable universe is the same, no matter how we look at it, because the fact that the universe is 13 billion years old gives us the maximum diameter of the universe. So what do we see when we look at the galaxy 47 billion light years away from us? Looking back, we see the Milky Way, the universe in which we live. But what else? Questions about questions. What is beyond space? The question of the boundaries of the universe extends the scientific approach to the point of merging with philosophical, even reflexive research. The spatial and temporal boundary of the universe is beyond sensory experience, and all conclusions about it, even scientific ones, are hypothetical. Modern science, however, offers several valid theories based on increasingly detailed observations of the universe. These opinions are logical conclusions based on a combination of observation and imagination. The difficult question when you think about the edge of the universe is what is on the other side? Either way, it must have existed before the Big Bang. It was the subshell from which the universe emerged, so it became part of the universe. But if the universe has no end, it can be infinite. Few scientists adapt to an infinite universe because all kinds of disturbances of the universe can exist there. The truth probably lies somewhere in between, even if scientists do not fully understand it. Observable Universe The word observable in this sense does not mean the ability of current technologies to detect light or other information from an object or what should be detected. It means a physical limit set by the speed of light itself. No signal can travel faster than light, so there is a maximum distance, called the particle horizon, beyond which nothing can be detected because the signals have not yet reached us. Is there anything beyond the universe? To answer the question of what is beyond the universe, we must first define exactly what we mean by universe. If you mean literally all things that can exist in space and time, then there can be nothing outside the universe. Even if you imagine the universe to be a finite size and you imagine something outside of that volume, everything outside must also be contained within the universe. Although the universe is a formless, shapeless, nameless void with absolutely nothing in it, it is still a thing and counts on the list of all things and is therefore, by definition, part of the universe. If the universe is infinite in size, you have nothing to worry about with this puzzle. The universe, which is everything, is infinitely large and has no edges, so there is nothing to discuss from the outside. What lies beyond the edge of the observable universe? In essence, the cosmos has grown at an ever-increasing rate since its creation. Cosmologists estimate that the oldest photons we can observe have traveled a distance of 45 to 47 billion light years since the Big Bang. This means that our observable universe is about 93 billion light years wide plus or minus a few light years. These 93 billion or so light years contain all the quarks, quasars, stars, planets, nebulae, black holes, and anything else we could possibly observe. The observable universe, however, contains only the light that has had time to reach us. The universe is disappearing. It has been nearly a century since academics first theorized that the universe is expanding and that the farther away the galaxy is from us, the faster it is receding. This is not because galaxies are physically moving away from us, but this is only because the universe exists full of gravitationally bound objects, and the fabric of space in which these objects are expands. But this picture, which has prevailed since the 1920s, has recently been modified. A mere 20 years have passed since we first understood that this expansion is accelerating and that some galaxies will move away from us at an ever-increasing rate over time. Eventually, they will most likely be unreachable, even if we could travel towards them at the speed of light. The universe thus seems to be disappearing as we age, and there is nothing humanity can do about it. 
what is the biggest thing in the universe? Although our sun seems huge, it looks puny compared to the biggest stars that we know. The sun is a G-type star, or a yellow dwarf, and a fairly average size on the cosmic scale. Even more massive objects are black holes, and in particular, the supermassive black holes that typically reside at the center of a galaxy. For example, the Milky Way hosts one that is about 4 million solar masses. Currently, scientists' best candidate for the largest known supercluster in the universe is the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, although astronomers have spent nearly a decade debating the structure. History through space and time. The human mind is always drawn to the unknown. It's incredibly scary, but curiosity brings the will to explore beyond. Traveling through the universe is not only a journey through space, but also through time. Before we begin, let's look at some facts. To find the edge, we should first know the dimensions of the universe. Our universe is expected to be 13.772 billion years old. Pretty old, isn't it? How big is our universe really? Scientists today estimate it to be 28.5 gigaparsecs wide. To understand how big it really is, let's look at the basics of astronomical units. What's beyond space and time? It wasn't that long ago that we thought space and time were the absolute and unchanging framework of the universe. Then came Albert Einstein, who showed that different observers can disagree about the length of objects and the timing of events. His theory of relativity united space and time into one space-time. Space alone and time alone are henceforth doomed to fade into mere shadows, explained the mathematician Hermann Minkowski. Only some kind of unification of the two will preserve an independent reality. But did Einstein's revolution go far enough? Physicist Lee Smolin of the Perimeter Institute of Theoretical Physics in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, doesn't think so. He and a trio of colleagues want to take relativity to a whole new level, and they have their sights set on space-time. They say we need to forget the home Einstein invented for us. We live inside a place called phase space. How big is the universe? By knowing the distance between your eyes and seeing the apparent displacement of your hand, we can calculate the distance to your hand. Now imagine that instead of your eyes, we have two telescopes in space, and instead of your palm, we have a very distant object, let's say a star. We know how far apart the two telescopes are, so we can calculate the distance to the star by parallax. Thanks to Earth's orbit, which we can calculate accurately, we have just that, the ability to observe the same thing from two different points, the same telescope moved by Earth's orbit. This approach is routinely used by astronomers to calculate the distance to celestial objects. How did the universe arise from nothing? The Big Bang theory states that the universe arose more than 13 billion years ago from a single, unimaginably hot and dense point, also known as a singularity. It did not occur in a pre-existing space. Rather, it initiated the expansion and cooling of space itself. It explains many of the things astronomers see through ground and space-based telescopes. It's responsible for a faint glow that can be seen throughout the universe. The glow is the leftover heat from the birth of the universe, which has now cooled to just a few degrees above absolute zero. In short, it is a remarkably strong and elegant explanation of how the observable universe came into being. Conclusion since the first edge of the Big Bang defines the boundaries of the universe, the most distant objects humans can see are also the oldest, so it's reasonable to assume they should be about 13.8 billion miles away. But the rapidly expanding early universe was an impenetrable plasma. Also, the universe is expanding faster and faster, so light from distant objects takes longer to reach us than previously thought. Based on such considerations, astrophysicist Jay Group led by Richard Godot, estimated the radius of the universe to be 45.7 billion light years. What do you think about this exciting topic? What is beyond the cosmos? Or is there anything beyond the universe at all? Feel free to write us a comment. We're eager to hear your opinion.